Welcome to game. Alright, so today's news isn't about games or journalism, so I might as well just not call it gay anymore. So I thought I might have a little rant today, because I'm feeling a little bit angry and also a bit stuffy. See, for the last few months, I've been trying to learn the Japanese, you see, because it's just something I've always wanted to do. And ever since I switched up to smartphones and got a Sony Xperia, I noticed that Google Translate has a really, really cool handwriting feature. All right, so you bring up Google Translate and you can press this nice little button here and it'll bring up a drawing pad so you can draw all the nice things that you want to translate. But after not doing any Japanese for a while, I came back to it and started using Google Translate. And I noticed that it had an update. What was the update? Well, they fucking ruined the handwriting feature. PJ's Dreamland. Or translated to... PJ no Yume no... Ooh, what kanji is that? I know, I'll go to Google Translate. Okay, so it's a square with a line and uh, what the fuck else was it? Ah, fuck! It was so damn useful. You could take as much time as you wanted and it would give you results instantly. But now it's just like, oh, you take it a second to think about it. Whoops, there you go, too late! And it just ruins the whole thing. There's no point in using it anymore. I have to be super duper quick in order to get it. Otherwise I have to keep pressing the back button, which is hardly ever responsive. I can't even find the fucking option to turn that off. There is no options on here. That's one thing. Every application needs an option for everything. Woo, the Google wizards are coming. They're going to change everything. Hide. It's like fucking YouTube and Gmail. Google just thinks, you know what works? Our stuff. You know what we should change? Everything. And it's not even big changes, it's just the little things that ruin the convenience of every Google product. Every time I want to go to check my Gmail, I have to switch accounts. Every time I have to go check YouTube, I gotta change accounts. See, the thing with small issues, in applications is that most of the time you can appeal to the to the developers and they'll change something they'll they'll fix something you know you can have a voice but with something like this with Google they won't change shit you can petition all you want but they won't change shit and the worst thing is nobody else is probably gonna see this nobody is gonna have this problem it's just gonna be me this is my own little creature comfort that's just been taken away from me by Google but nobody else will probably have that issue. So even if I speak up about it, nobody's gonna give a shit. Nobody's gonna give a fuck. The only complaints that Google Translate are gonna get are the translations. I got a fucking email from some activist website saying, if you type gay into Google Translate, it comes up with synonyms like faggot and queer. We don't want Google to to perpetuate these horrible stereotypes and terrible words. I'm just like, come on. <laughs> Language works that way. There are bigger issues than fucking Google Translate's synonyms list. So yeah, there's my little rant. I'm sure you've noticed I've had a haircut today, so along with losing my neck beard, I've also lost most of my hair, but that'll soon grow. Speaking of neckbeards, I'm going to be at the Telford MCM Expo, February 14th. So if anyone wants to come and say hi, I'll be there dressed as Waluigi. And I'll be there with Mutton Dave, who won't be cosplaying. These fucking books is the shit. If you like Parappa the Rupert, get these fucking books. Get, get this fucking book. It's called Rotary Fun Comic Collection. King PJ. Daisuke. King PJ. Ichiban! As always, if you enjoy seeing my face plastered on your television or computer screen, like, comment, subscribe!